Start your engine for a Sony Computer Entertainment Year of Production. Fasten your seatbelts for another Naughty Dog creation. Welcome to Crash Team Racing! My name is Fade and today is a very special day because today on January 9th it just so happens to be my channel's four year anniversary day so I have been doing this YouTube thing now for four years which is a relatively long period of time all things considered so I thought I would do something special for the occasion and I would start to play through one of my all-time favorite games which happens to be Crash Team Racing CTR right here and this game actually has a little story mode adventure kind of thing in it with some uh, cutscenes and everything all fancy like that even though this is like a racing game but uh, that is what we are gonna start doing today and we can actually right off the bat pick our character we can see different attributes and I'm pretty sure I'm already which character I'm going to pick but I might as well show you guys all the different characters they all of them have different attributes and they're better than others in some different ways then go down here is real fast but then you know if you try to like turn with him excel all that stuff kind of sucks and then polar here is pretty much the exact opposite Polar is pretty slow, but it's really easy to control his car and it's easy to make turns and everything so you don't you won't be crashing into walls. And these are like beginner level characters because they're really easy to start with. So I don't wanna go with beginner character, although I do like to have my car really, really easily controlled. That's why Penta Penguin is one of the better characters in this game, but we cannot pick that one, so let's go with Dr. Neo Cortex, because I wanna be a bad guy this time. Yes! And I can select my name. My name is Spade. Alright. But it's so fun to play a Crash, Crash Bandicoot game and actually be able to play as the bad guy. It's really cool. At the time it was so revolutionary. Even though, you know, this is just a racing game. But it's still really cool. So, we will go with Dr. Neo. Cortex, and probably right now we're gonna have a little cutscene, I would imagine, or not, or then Uka Uka is gonna come up. Yup, there we go. Welcome to the Adventure Arena. You can travel around this area and practice your driving skills. The dots and stars on the map represent warp paths, which lead to races. When they flash, it signifies they are open to play. To access a racetrack, drive onto a warp pad that has an active warp vortex, and it will take you to the track's start line. Finish a track in first place to win a trophy. As you collect more trophies, other tracks will turn on and open to you. Good luck, and drive fast. Oh yeah, thank you, Uga Uga. And, let me see. Uh, 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 what options do we have? And do we have... I was just kind of thinking, do we have subtitles? I'm not, I'm pretty sure, I guess we don't have those options, but who cares. Let's go to the first race, which happens to be the Crash Cove, of course. That is the really simple first level, and I really thought that was going to be a, like a cutscene. Or maybe it was in the start menu after you just wait. Maybe, I don't know. But the whole awesome storyline with this game is that uh, is that badass alien is it is it called? Ugh. Let me focus on my awesome start. It's been a little while, so I may be rusty, but at least at the time I was really good at this game. And there's a shortcut like right here, but of course I can't make it because I. I kind of suck at this game, but let's get boosted up. Oh my. But, just like with other racing games, when you're, when you're doing bad, you usually get some good weapons. Like three rockets. 
But going back to the awesome story, there for that badass alien. Whoop! Called, uh, I think it's Doctor or Nefarious or something. Oxide. I really should have saved that Nitro. Get, uh, wasn't able to get that in time. Get out of here, Crash. My arch nemesis. But yeah, that. I still can't make that. Yeah, that alien is trying to kind of take over the world and actually turn it into a giant parking lot. So obviously. Oh. Didn't realize that would happen. And I didn't even get a weapon, but I'll push them. But yeah, that badass alien, he's trying to turn the world into a parking lot, so obviously Crash and friends and their enemies, they all need to team up here uh, against the greater evil and uh, kick his ass so he doesn't destroy our world. So That's the awesome story. You know, Nutsil, and I actually was able to make that shortcut right now. After having a few practice rounds here. Whoop! But overall, like, gotta say, out of all the racing games, like, mini kart games, that there are so many of, Crash Team Racing is definitely one of, definitely my favorite. For me, I personally like this more than uh, Mario Karts. Unfortunately, there were never really good sequels, because, you know, the whole thing with the Crash, uh, Crash Bandicoot series, it was sold and then sold again to another company. <laughs> and after that, there were never really any real good Crash Bandicoot games after Naughty Dog stopped uh, making them, which is unfortunate. And I remember the, at least the ni Nitro Kart racing game that was made some years ago, long, probably like over five years ago or so, seven years, I don't know, that sucked. But Uga Uga is here to talk. The more Wumpa fruit you collect, the faster your card will go. If you collect and hold ten Wumpa fruit, you'll be juiced up and your power ups will become more potent. <laughs> yeah, we kind of did that already on the first race, so let's head to the next one. And I guess there's another one unlocked. But let's go over here. Which level is this? Bruce Tubes! And I believe this is the also the arena where we are going to be racing the first boss. Yeah, there are bur <laughs> there are boss fights in this game too, which is pretty cool. And it's like one on one personal races, and I always start last. And I get a great stir. Yes, I still got that. And I totally missed a weapon. But it's alright. I can do without. So far, so good. I've considered this game too difficult, so let's drop that one. That actually worked out, so that's why you should really hold on to. Much like in Mario Kart, like, hold on to those shells because they may come in handy against people who are trying to shoot Koopa shells at you, and in this case it's just, you know, missiles and using nitros and TNTs to uh, keep yourself safe, or these Labra bottles, or whatever. Oh! There we go. But I wouldn't imagine this Let's Play like being too long, or whatever I decide to call it. Let's Play, play, do all the same thing, kind of. Uh, maybe not. Some people would disagree. And I think if you go fast enough, you can take a shortcut on that um, grass over there before the goal. But I'm not that pro at the game at the moment. So I'm not gonna take any chances here. Oh! Uh, it's just the speed in this game and the controls. They're Amazing! Everything that you want from a racing game. Oh. I remember as a kid, you know, I used to play Mario Kart, but I had PlayStation myself. So I was kind of sad that there was no real good racing game, but then Crash Team Racing was released, and it was really awesome. And it's a shame that this game never had sequels that it would have deserved. Would have been so awesome to play this game 
online. Oh my goodness, that would have been fun. That would have been amazing. Look, all the bad guys won. There's Dingo Dial, there's Engine, and there's me, Dr. Neocortex. Number one. Number one, and we move on to the next race. Got myself a trophy, is there Uka Uka? Yes? Hello? When you get a TNT crate on your head, start hopping immediately. You react fast and hop enough times. The TNT crate will fall off your head before it explodes. Yes, very really useful hints. Gotta keep that in mind. So if TNT falls on your head, you can just jump with R1 and you can get rid of it. Mystery Cage! This is a fun little level here. Fun little race. Alrighty. I think there's some fun shortcuts I may, may or may not try them out. The needs for speed is right here! Oh, no, no. Aww. Oh, didn't even get my awesome start this time. Kinda rushed it. Oh, I think it was, yeah, from the left right there. You can take a little shortcut. I may try that out next round. Oh, oh I kind of missed that turtle. Could have gotten myself a little boost. Let's get boosted up here. And another one of these. Wow, I actually hit engine, I think. You can also shoot those things backwards, so I probably should have done that. Oh! 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 Nice. There's a little turbo juice. Which I probably should have saved for the awesome little shortcuts. Which is right here, but I really should have plenty more speed. But if you guys keep your speed up, do these turbo slides, and get one of those tags to boost you up, you can make that real fast. And that's usually what all the MLC pros in this game use. It was really fun after like, after years not playing this game, and finally like looking into some YouTube videos of this game, see how the all the pros are playing this game, and I gotta say, I was I was blown away. Hup! How incredibly they were able to play me. Let's see. No, I really should have gotten that turtle there, and then find that shortcut for the game. But oh well, I'll still win this race. They can't stop me now. No way. Oh, I think that was one of my droppings from the last round. I guess nobody hit him. Or hit it, rather. It's lonely on the top, I tell you. I think should be getting more fun. Oh! After we uh, go against the boss. The boss fights are always crazy because the boss fights, you know, the bosses can pretty much throw all sorts of weapons at you. I think Ripperu is using like uh, all those bottle things to throw at you, like constantly, and it's crazy. Or it might be. We shall see. We shall see. But I do still consider myself relatively good in this game, because I've been playing so much. And the last time I played this game was probably like two years ago, and I beat all those Oxide ghost races that you can do. I don't know who knows what I'm even talking about. But much like in Mario Kart, you've got ghost races. You can beat. You can beat your own ghost and then some special ghosts. And Uka Uka has something to say again. Let's hear him out. You can get a hang time turbo from jumping. The longer you're in the air, the bigger the turbo you'll get when you land. For big turbos, try to get extra air time by hopping off jumps using the R1 button. Yup, and that is what I should have done 
in the previous race, and I have no idea where I'm going. I'm supposed to go this way. Uh, I blame the hitbox on that one. I totally will. Sure Speedway! Ooh! This is one of my favorites. This is a really fun level. Some shortcuts and secrets in this level that you can try and abuse. Definitely. But yeah, I should have gotten that big hang time on the turtles and then do the shortcuts on that previous level. And then hop on and I could have done it relatively well, I think. I think. Boom! Ah, oh, big tiny! Why is Tiny so big? And on the way. Oh, let's go. And now this is where the first shortcut comes around. Yes. And then just make another shortcut from there. We're gonna actually continue. I guess I could try to check out the other way. But this is the shortest way to go on this level. And this is an awesome level to do these boostings or whatever you want to call them. Slides. And whenever you hold, you just hold R1 and do the L1. And the closer to the end you hold your... Or you... The longer you wait to press that L1 button, the faster boost you are going to get, and of course I would fail this time, but it doesn't even matter. Perhaps I should... Oh, check on the uh, map right here. And yeah, it looks like I'm leading by a landslide. So, that is always fun, and I think that was fine. Oh! Alright. Well, I could use this thing as a backup. Woo. I'm going so freaking fast. I'm, I'm leaning way too much. Maybe I am too good for this game. At, at, at least, you know, the story mode. That's why it would be, would, would be so freaking amazing to play this game online. Now let's check out this area. But there's a longer way, obviously. Instead of just going... Again, also check that from the map, so... There is that. Whoa. Oh! Well, it doesn't even matter. I'm always, almost catching up to the last guys here. Oh, no. But I could have if there was, like, one extra lap. And there we go. Number one again. And now we can beat the boss of this world, I do believe. Ripperoo. I'm sure um, Uka Uka is gonna give us a note again on that. Oh, we shall see. I think after getting the four trophies on this first world, we can move on to the boss. And then go from there. Thank you so much. Can I skip this again? <laughs> Alright, I hope I'm not a rotten brain. I do tend to do my casual brain farts, but I still hope to beat this guy. I wish he had mustache, like in the second crest, a bandicoot game, but he doesn't. Oh well. Let's go. Let's go. See? He's going to even catch up to me. Yes! He is certainly giving a challenge. And I think I'm actually going to hold on to these three bombs. But they're actually not too bad. But yeah, he's just... kind of throwing his stuff. Uh, there we go. I think that shortcut went pretty well. We're already starting to lose him, which is a shame. I can't even see him. But I don't really want to drive, like, backwards. But I would kind of like to see him in action, to show you guys. Maybe I can wait for him a little bit. Let's wait. 
Be sure to not hit another one. There we go. Barely made it, but I did. And with this initial, I'm guaranteed to win here. Let's get that boost. Yeah, and shortcut. I think you can go from the left, left side of the mushroom too, but I'm not that pro. But that's a good shortcut. Definitely the same. That was kind of a short race. And with that, I think since I concluded the first world, I think I'm going to be moving on to the next one. So, yeah, this will most likely be a quite short of a run. But I may end up 100% completing this game. Depending what you guys think. Certainly, if you like this game, let me know in the comment section below. And, you know, depending on how the series does I will do more episodes and I could 100% this game because you know that's where all the fun is really at. The basic race as it's all work kind of simple. <laughs> You're crazier than me! Have a key! That makes sense. Good luck. But you just saw I, I don't really need luck. I got my skills right here. And from there opens up the next world, and we have Uka Uka for last time for today. Congratulations on opening this new area. Here you will find four more tracks to race. Good luck. <laughs> Yar, Uka Uka. Where is the saving point, anyways? Is it so? Is it? No. What am I? Oh yes, it would be Skull Rock. Let's actually do that. Okay, I, I was thinking about just ending the episode. Collect every but crystal in the arena before the time runs out. If you get them all, you will win a prize. Ooh. Yeah, there's this special level on each work which I kind of forgot, but I guess I could do that. Collect some crystals. I don't really like these levels. These are not racing levels. These are like battle levels, like on Mario Kart and stuff too. I saw you! I don't really know what would be the fastest way. And there's... 20 in total. So let's go and get that. And that. Anything hiding here? Get that bad boy, and then there was was actually more in here. All right, I got 45 seconds. Oh god, I just totally missed that. I really hope I can still beat this level. Oop. 14. I think I'm going a bit too safely here. Two right here. All right. I think I will have to. Oh God. Kia mode. Yes. Wow. <laughs> that was way too close. I really would not have liked to do that level again, <laughs> but I just got it. I I was way too safe with that level. Okay, going too slow, going too slow. But we got it, and with that we will conclude this episode. So thank you so much for watching, and next time we will move on to the uh, next world. I will do all the basic levels once, and then I could return for the, all the special things that these levels have to offer. Relics and battle tokens and what whatnot. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. And I will also try to return to my other unfinished LPs this year. So many things going on at the end of the last year, so I haven't had time to do much. But hopefully now at the beginning of the year I will have more time to do 
um, other things on my channel as well. So stay tuned for more Crafty Racing and more other stuff on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your comments in the comment section below. I will check you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Until then, until next time, this is Bate. Signing out. Peace.